I had world by the balls, but thought I had. But now, uh, glad to survive a stroke and happier now. Dan Zimmerman was on top of the world. Dan owned a successful cabinetry and custom woodworking business that catered to high-end clients. His work was considered exceptional. He has built custom kitchens throughout the Western United States. His business provided an elitist lifestyle, which included boats and many extravagant vacations. And then Thanksgiving 2005, life changed for Dan Zimmerman. Stroke. Stroke! Yeah, I mean, you were you were a, a cabinet maker? Yep. For for years? Uh, High-end cabinet yes. maker? Yes. And and then what happened after that, Dan? Uh, woke up. Uh, uh, doctors told me, uh, wheelchair for life and no talking. When we'd go down there, Dion and Jim would talk to the doctors and they'd give them updates on Dan and they would constantly say, he's not gonna walk, he's not gonna talk, he's not going to go back to the life that he had before, and that we all needed to prepare ourselves. And I knew Dan, and he's not going to give up. Decided to fight. You know, my boys mean uh, so much. And Dan worked hard in physical therapy. Every day he met and exceeded his goals. As Dan was working hard in rehab and trying to get his life back together, his marriage was deteriorating. So to fill the void, Dan found a new passion. Now you discovered a triking. <laughs> so you've been you you discovered the trike and you've been uh, how, how, so tell me how how has it changed your life or the opportunities that it's given you etc go ahead uh first off i found freedom with this freedom dan started writing every chance he got and in doing this it helped speed up the healing process Dan uh, showed up at a Thursday night ride, which is what we're on tonight, and he um, he uh, had trouble getting his trike out of the truck, is what it appeared to me. And after I watched him for a while, I realized there wasn't something quite right about Dan, and uh, it took me a while to figure it out. And then Dan volunteered that he had been a victim of a stroke some years earlier, and. Uh, so, uh, Dan managed to keep up with us just barely. Dan's strength and endurance increased. Soon he was riding in organized bike rides across states that include Wisconsin, Missouri, Iowa, and Michigan. While Dan was on one of his cross-state rides, he came up with the idea to ride cross-country, beginning in Washington State and ending in Key West, Florida, all to raise awareness on strokes and stroke survivors. Over the last year and a half, Dan has trained hard to prepare for this ride. On June 29th, Dan will dip his tire in the Pacific Ocean near Anna Cortese, Washington. He then will begin a 5,500 mile journey to Key West, Florida. This ride was named the road to Margaritaville. I know it sounds cliche, but you truly are inspirational, Dan. Really, that's awesome. And uh, good luck with the venture. Thank yeah. you. As Dan trikes through every city and town on the road to Margaritaville, his message is this. Don't give up hope. Uh, fight with all your might.